Hello, YouTube. I don't know if my voice sounds a bit different from usual or if I'll cough, uh, but if it does or if I do, it's because it's flu season here in Holland. Uh, almost everyone I know got sick. <laughs> <coughs> ah, there's the cough. Mm. I myself got the stomach flu and uh, I had to take a day off uh, from uni to sick it out. Right now I can do everything I normally do again, but I still feel sicker than I would like to feel. But uh, anyways, I promise you guys I would build a desert zoo. So here I am, building a desert zoo. Uh, I did get rid of roughly four fifths of all my mods because my game was lagging like crazy. I went from over 500 files to just under 120. Uh, I will also be adding less animals to this zoo. At most 4 species per episode and at most 5 individuals per species. Uh, to help against the lag. Uh, and instead of just throwing them uh, in as moving decorations. I want to try to manage the animals and even give them names to kind of put more feeling into this zoo. Also I have a list of 10 animal species that I definitely want to put in. You can still suggest animals and exhibits uh, if you would like, but they'll be on a separate list of animals and exhibits I'll try to put in. And I cannot promise I will be able to put all of them in. Now. That was enough introduction for this series. Let's speed build.
uh, that was the speed build to the entrance. I really originally wanted to build it in the style of a golden age islamic palace complete with a persian garden but i found that especially the garden wouldn't work too well um, for a zoo entrance um, so instead i've moved the palace and garden plan to the restaurant uh, kind of in line with the roman villa i had as a restaurant on isola di natura if you haven't seen that, uh, please go check it out. <laughs> um, <coughs> um, and instead of a palace, I've built the entrance in the style of a lot of Middle Eastern town gates. Because Middle Eastern architecture is still a very good fit for anything in a desert. Uh, so we have this big main gate and then two little gates to the side um, and I decided to put the admission routes, you can see them here, um, in the pillars uh, to make them less obstructive, you know, you can still look at the bit whole thing and think, oh yeah, that looks pretty, you know, without like, oh, that's just... Brutes, <laughs> basically. Um, uh, so yeah, uh, and then the first exhibit is gonna be right here, uh, immediately in the front of the zoo, and it will be for dromedary camels. Now I'm thinking about giving them some exhibit mates. Uh, if you have any suggestions for those, leave them down in the comments, and I'll pick the suggestion I like best. Also, I am looking for camel names, so if you have any, comment those too. And that was all for today, so uh, see you next time.